Hi, it's Marieta. Thanks for tuning in. And in this video, I want to give you my tips how you put a get your life together during difficult times. Coming up. All right, guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification button. And let's get started. So today's topic is how you get your life together during difficult times. Now, the reason I want to do this video is because 2020 has been crazy year. Crazy for all of us crazy on so many levels and i made a video where i explain five signs that you're shifting to fifth dimension and what is this fifth dimension and also what is this great awakening all about so i will be linking the video here for you because i highly highly recommend that you check it out the way i see this time the way i see this period is that we are actually experiencing the great awakening now the great awakening is not going to happen when everything is smooth and easy and beautiful the great awakening usually happens when there is a dark night of the soul when we are facing challenges when we are forced to go within actually when we face the challenges it's the time when we are forced to go within otherwise you would not go within and when i say go within i mean to start your meditation practice i mean to develop these uh, new habits that will help you to cope during challenging time. And number one is self-care. What you eat, how you think, how you feel, all these are connected because the way you think is going to trigger your next action and your next action will determine how you feel. So this is all connected. So how you think, how you feel and how you act, this is all interconnected. And when there is the bubble of fear, the global bubble of fear that is forcing us to actually go within, that's usually the time when we have so many breakthroughs. And yes, it is challenging. Yes, it feels like the old self is dying. And because of that, it's scary because you don't know how your future will look like. We don't know how humanity will look like. But at the same time, it is the time for us to really go within and tap into that inner power because every every single one of us has actual inner power that is here to guide us and that is here to actually tell us what to do especially when we feel lost when we feel confused and when we feel depressed you have to tap to that inner power and that is how you cope with challenging times and these are unprecedented challenging times unprecedented and so it's so important for us to tap into that power individually individually when we tap into that power we will be able to see the change in our individual life and as a result we start influencing other people in our close circle whether it's your family members your friends and so on even your clients your colleagues team members and so on because when you shift your energy within you actually create the ripple effect and the idea is to create the ripple effect for humanity so we can help each other we can help each other grow we can help each other heal this is the time of great healing all the darkness is coming up to the surface but the reason it's coming up to the surface is not to complain about it it's not to be depressed it's actually to take it and take it as a challenge embrace the challenge and learn all those lessons that we need to learn as a humanity as a whole as a collective so we can ascend to the next level of living the next level of consciousness and whether we like it or not it's happening so whether i mean you can you can resist you can suppress all these feelings you can resist you can act like no biggie everything is fine everything will go back to normal the truth is the normal wasn't really working the normal wasn't working for anybody the work the normal the normal chances are wasn't even working for you and so we don't want to go back to normal we will never go back to normal we are already different we are already changed and we are already impacted by what has happened but we are at the crossroad we can choose whether you're going to go to the third 3d world or you're going to go to the 5d and that's the great split or shift i mean you probably heard of this before when the planet is going to shift in two directions either you're going to go to 3d and you carry on with the 3d reality and you will suffer and you will actually live from fear okay you live from fear and you will be suffering 
you won't really enjoy your life, you really won't ascend to the next level of consciousness, or you choose to fall in love, you trust, you have complete trust, and as you trust, then you have complete trust, you ascend, and you ascend and you live from the higher level of consciousness. So it's, it's not like you're going to see two different earths, like one earth, another earth. In fact, what's really going on, it's your inner world, where you're going to tap into the lower frequency or you're going to tap into that higher frequency. And the higher frequency is the frequency of love. And that frequency of love is within every one of us. But it's our job to tap into it. And it requires training. Now, the tapping into this love frequency won't happen just because you decide. Well, actually, it does happen. It's the first step is to decide that you want to tap into the frequency of love. And the second step is to actually train yourself to be able to tap into this frequency. So how do you tap into this frequency of love? Well, several things you can do. Number one, you need to absolutely need to, and you have to, and you must start your daily meditation practice. I talk about meditation a lot. I made a video on how you start your meditation if you're a beginner. I will be linking the video here for you. And also I shared a video where I explained the benefits of meditation. And meditation will actually save us. That's, that's the number one tool we, every single one of us, need to start applying and embracing because in that meditation you will understand who you really are and you know the body you know the limited self you know the powerless victim of the circumstances in fact you are extremely powerful your infinite potential you are being of light and you will discover this truth actually embody it when you start practice and you start your daily practice of your daily meditation and so I highly recommend that you start your meditation practice now. And if you already started, congratulations, because we need more people like you. We need the light workers. Now is the time for light workers to reunite and do this together. You can, we can only do this together when we actually do the individual work and then when we collaborate and we can change humanity by raising the frequency individually within you and then collectively by supporting each other. So that is how we cope with the difficult time. We cope with the difficult time by tuning in, by tapping into that inner power, by deciding consciously not to be the victim, but by raising the frequency in your body and you raise the frequency to the point where you can do anything you want despite the circumstances, despite what's going on outside, despite that it's difficult, it's challenging, you can change your circumstances because you are incredibly powerful. And it is actually the first step when you decide that you are not going to be the victim. Number two I want to suggest is that you get my book, Love is the Law. Love is the Law book. This is the English version. And this is the Slovak version. <laughs> it's all over the place. This book um, is high frequency. Now, I'm not saying you should read just this book, but I'm highly suggesting that you start reading my book. And it's called Love is the Law because love is the ultimate law in the universe. And this was given to me. This was direct stream of consciousness coming through me for you guys. So we can together uplift humanity. It has 21 universal laws that will help you. It will guide you how you can upgrade your life. And on top of that, I have a free training, actually 21 day challenge to upgrade every single area of your life. And if you start applying these laws, I promise you, you will upgrade your life. You will raise the frequency. And as a result, we will be able to create shift and change in humanity. And so you will be able to find that 21 day challenge below this video, guys. So that's number two. Number three, I highly recommend that you eliminate the information. We live in information age and therefore it's actually dangerous at the same time. Why? Because if you constantly watch news and you constantly are bombarded by negative information, um, which, you know, if you turn on the news, you're going to find negative information. I'm not saying you should not be informed in a way, but take it 
not literally and don't watch news all the time because they are actually reprogramming your subconscious mind whether you like it or not it's happening so instead choose to consume information that are high vibe choose to consume information like this video this is high vibe video where i'm giving information to support you and empower you so consume information that will empower you and the more you consume information that are empowering because everything is energy even my words are energy and when you read a book the words are energy everything is energy so you will feel energized also i highly recommend you change your diet start cleaning clean your diet okay organic food lots of fruits and vegetables lots of water clean water sleep well i mean these are these are simple things but it will change your life if you do it on a daily basis you will see the benefits and you will feel better and stronger why because if you eat clean food if you drink plenty of water if you sleep if you meditate all this combine and also if you work out on daily basis all this combined will actually raise your frequency in your body so the goal is to raise the frequency in your body and stay there stay there don't lower it don't lower your vibes and if you are around people who are constantly gossiping complaining they're heavy they have a heavy energy i mean this might sound selfish but it's part of my personal self-care uh, if I feel that these people are draining me, I stop talking to them. You have to take care of your first. Take care of yourself first. When you take care of yourself first, when you love yourself first, you will be able to actually fill up your cup and then you will be able to give that love to other people. If you do it the other way around, you are depleted, you are empty and you expect other people to fill your cup. That's the wrong way, that's the wrong way to live your life, guys. All right, so I hope you, this is helpful. Let me know what you guys think. Share your videos, share your videos. Share your ideas below this video and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. See you soon.